Hello everyone, my name is Sean Mancini. Today I'm going to show you how to do an ARP spoof attack against a Cisco router. Uh, this type of attack will send spoofed IP addresses and uh, ARP packets to the router, which will then flood the router's ARP cache. This serves one of two purposes. One, we'll do a denial of service attack, or two, a man in the middle. Uh, basically, what this what happens is, is that ARP is used by the router to uh, resolve hardware addresses, MAC addresses, to IP addresses. Now, let's say I have a client on the machine, one nine, uh, sorry, client on the network, 192.168.1.5. If I send a ARP packet from my machine, completely different IP uh, and completely different MAC address, to the router and say that my IP address is 192.168.1.5. ARP has no authentication, so the router will then take that packet, update its ARP cache, and saying that this MAC address of my machine now belongs to 192.168.1.5. What, what, what will then happen is any information that is sent from that router to 192.168.1.5 that packet will then get routed to me rather than getting routed to the actual machine. That's the denial of service because that information is now bouncing off my network, my machine. Now, man in the middle would be that packet hits my machine. I then forward that packet to the actual machine that's supposed to go. Open up my, my um, packet sniffer and I see all the information that goes between the router and the client. For this video, I'm going to show you what the attack looks like on a Cisco router. And um, then I will show you in another video how to protect against this type of attack. Uh, so let's begin. Now I'm using the Metasploit, uh, the Metasploit series of apps. So we're just going to go into our Metasploit terminal. I'm going to assume that you already have, uh, you already know how to install and launch Metasploit in the console. Um, but if you don't, <coughs> there's a video on my channel. Uh, it's basically a tutorial on how to install Metasploit and run it for the first time. So I suggest checking that out before checking out this video. Uh, so that'll give you the basics on how to use Metasploit. So First thing we got to do is load the module for ARP spoofing or ARP poisoning. So we're going to do use auxiliary it's under spoofing or spoof ARP ARP poisoning. Um, you can just hit you just hit the tab uh, button to fill out the rest for you. So if I just for instance here, if I just type in spoof and then a r hit tab it'll fill the rest for me okay so now we'll type in info to see the information we need so we need the d host which is the target's ip address the interface which is the interface that we're going to use to perform the attack s host which is the spoofed ip address that we're going to send to the router and if you want you can spoof the mac addresses to which the the um, one that you want to use that would be more of denial of service in the, the that would be more for denial of service rather than for a man in the middle because you do still need a valid MAC address for the router to send information to if you said if you were to do a man in the middle with a spoofed MAC that's invalid the router is still not going to be able to forward the information to the to anywhere so you're not going to be able to do the man in the middle attack side note but keeping on topic here um, we're going to now set all the information that we need so we're going to set the target IP which I know is 192.168.1.1 okay so you're going to do set D host and then the Mac then the uh, IP address going to set the interface. I'm using wireless, so WLAN 0. If you're using Ethernet, 
ETH zero. Okay, set S hosts. Okay, and I'm gonna spoof the whole block of IPs. So one nine two one six eight one dot zero slash twenty four because it's a twenty four bit subnet. Then we're going to set an option that's actually not shown there. We're going to set verbose for true. Verbose is just basically uh, letting Metasploit uh, show us everything that it's doing. <coughs> then we're going to hit info again to make sure we've set those values. Okay, and the values went through. Okay, and now to launch the attack, we're going to hit <coughs> exploit. Type an exploit, hit enter, and the attack begins. So now we're just going to wait a little for the attack to start to go through. Okay, and uh, now we're going to log into our router. Okay, and now that we're in the Cisco, we're going to do a show ARP, and then we're just going to include the internal IPs here. <coughs> From here, I can see already there's something very fishy. <coughs> you have all these IPs that are apparently assigned to one MAC address. So basically what we're seeing here is that if any of these machines on this network actually existed, for instance, dot one oh six, this traffic is gonna go to this MAC address, which is my I which is my MAC address of this machine. So we can already see the impact of af just after a couple of maybe a minute of the attack we're already flooding the ARP cache of this router and these IPs aren't even assigned by DHCP um, uh, nor are they assigned statically like for instance if I were to go into my DHCP bindings well DHCP assigned one IP to this MAC address and yet in the ARP cache <laughs> it's taken up all of these IPs so that is how the attack is uh, for denial of service I do plan to do like I said another video on the And uh, as always,